Hello everybody, in this video I'd like to talk about one-on-one -on -one situations where the CT has the bomb down somewhere and the terrorist is away from the bomb. So what do we have here? We see there's four terrorists come over here. I kill two and then each of my teammates kill one. Um, you'll see this guy gets a kill on the Chewy and Bra Bra from CT spawn gets a, the trade kill but then Bloodbath from B kills the guy in CT. So what do we know now? We have the bomb down right out in the open. It's by cross. There's so many spots that could look at it and just see the bomb. And we know the other guy is over here. And why is that? Because he killed the guy in CT spawn. So that gets called out. So now we know it's a one-on-one. -on -one. The guy's on the other side of the map. He has a minute 17 seconds to try to win the round, which is, you know, an amazing amount of time. So it's definitely doable for either team uh, to win the round. So what could this cat guy do? Well, there's three options. Number one, he could take angles where he tries to kill the guy immediately when he peeks into his crosshair somewhere, uh, when he's coming up on site, so really aggressive. The second are more passive angles where you're going to stand here and maybe peek out every one or two, three, four seconds. See if the bomb's there. If it's if it's not there, the guy's there and you shoot him and he doesn't know where you are. Or there's a really safe position which isn't the best because it's really greedy where you sit here and you wait for him to plant and then you go up to do a one-on-one -on -one retake which is something you just shouldn't have to do. So what, we're going to look at this guy and see what he does. So he's taking, looking at these angles which he doesn't have to look at. Uh, maybe he just doesn't know the guy's CT yet. Now we tell him. So he's looking at this angle. So he's taking it really aggressive. And what he does right here is he peeks into CT spawn, which I don't think he has to do. I think that's really aggressive, where the other guy just shoots him as he peeks. Because he can expect the guy long, but he can't expect the guy in the CT spawn. So what does he do? He starts to fall back into pit, which is a really, really great spot. Because what can you do with this? Well, from pit, you can come here, and if he comes long, you just walk up and you shoot him. If he comes here, then you shoot him here. And if he comes here, he has to come down and get the bomb, and then you shoot him as he's anywhere along this ra along this rail area. So now we know the guy's up on cat or CT spawn, because he threw a nade onto the site. So now look at these these angles that he's holding. So right now he's holding onto this box, and why is that bad? Well, so he's holding this angle right here. The line's obviously a little crooked. If the guy peeks here, he can shoot him in the head. And the guy has to flick over from this box angle. If the guy comes here and shoots him in the head, which is a possibility, as you see, um... Then he has to flick all the way from here to here and shoot the guy. Where this guy has an AK, he just one bolts him. And this guy in pit, he has to get you know a headshot and a body shot with the M4. So that's why it's they're not really good angles to hold. Because the guy comes in, you have to flick over to your screen. Instead of just holding this elevator angle right now. Where if he comes, you shoot him right when he comes in your crosshair. Which would be much better than obviously having to flick because flicking has a degree of inaccuracy. So now he's just waiting for the guy. Look look where his crosshair is right now. It's out in the open. What if the guy just comes across, looks into pit and shoots him? Like that could definitely happen. I'm throwing smoke. So now we know now we know the guy's CT because they were wide angles in the bounces of the smoke so that m means it was from a low elevation so I think we tell him the guy is CT Flashback. so now look what this guy does he takes this really big corridor right here and he starts walking up like this so why is that bad well of course what this guy does he flashes so he gets blind because he's not behind any cover. Um, but what else does this do? Well, this map doesn't really show it that well, but there's actually a big gap in the smoke right here, as you see. 
So the guy just peeks out and shoots him. And he's out in the open, so if he gets uh, tagged, he can't really run to safety at all if he gets hit in the body. Um, and once again, it's AK versus M4, so it might not be the best idea for him. So let's see what happens. He gets flashed full blind, the guy just walks by, I guess he didn't see him. He starts creeping up, his shots. And we're not going to critique the shots, we're critiquing positioning here. Bomb has been planted. Flowing a flashback. Okay, so what's going to happen from here? He knows the guy's elevator, right? So what can the terrorist player do from here? Well, obviously, number one, he can sit here. So, and then as he comes here, he jumps over and shoots him. That's one, that's one plan that could happen. The terrorist could also come here and shoot the CT as he comes across any of these railings, just uh, these headshot angles for him. And the third option is as the CT comes here to go check that elevator position, he just comes up behind him and shoots him in the back, which is what happens. So that means the counter-terrorist should not just be expecting the guy to stay here. He should expect... Uh, a variation of things to happen so he should always be checking his back maybe just looking to his left over uh, by elevator but then also checking ramp and you can see he goes a hundred percent into this I know the guy's gonna stay there that guy comes up rail and shoots him and that's why it's really bad positioning by this guy and I hope in this video maybe you can see some things you can improve on in your 1v1 where you have the bomb you can position wherever you want and you just have to pick good spots where you can stay so you can kill the guy.